What if the deadliest weapon on the battlefield wasn't a missile, a tank, or a stealth jet, but a line of code? In this new era of warfare, firepower still matters, but intelligence, artificial intelligence matters even more. The side that sees first, reacts first, and strikes with pinpoint accuracy will dominate, not with sheer force, but with speed, precision, and strategy. Welcome to the next generation of combat, where the smartest player isn't a soldier, it's the software. Let's dive in. The battlefield has always been a theater of chaos, strategy, and split-second decisions. Throughout history, wars have been won and lost based on the ability to gather intelligence, act swiftly, and make the right choices under pressure. But now, a new player has entered the war room, artificial intelligence. And in this high-stakes game of digital warfare, the side with the smartest software might just hold the ultimate advantage. Imagine two armies, each equipped with the same cutting-edge weaponry, drones, surveillance equipment, and firepower. Yet, one of them possesses an AI-driven command system that operates at lightning speed, processing vast amounts of data and providing commanders with real-time battlefield intelligence. The other? A traditional force relying on human expertise, maps, and slow, methodical decision-making. As the battle unfolds, the difference becomes stark. The first step in any military engagement is seeing the enemy before they see you. Both sides deploy their reconnaissance drones, spy satellites, and ground scouts to gather intelligence. The traditional force receives satellite images, raw video footage, and sensor data, which their analysts must manually sift through. It takes hours, sometimes days, to identify critical targets. Meanwhile, the AI-driven army has a different approach. Their autonomous software, armed with computer vision, scans every frame instantly. What took humans hours now takes minutes. A tank hidden under a makeshift canopy? Identified. A camouflaged artillery position in the hills? Spotted. A convoy moving under the cover of night? Tracked and logged. This is the first major advantage of AI speed. The AI-enabled army compiles a comprehensive digital map of enemy positions long before their adversary even finishes analyzing their first batch of images. But recognizing the enemy is just the beginning. Now, the real decisions start. Military strategists call it the kill chain. Find the target, fix its location, choose the right weapon, engage, and assess the damage. It's the fundamental cycle of warfare, and AI is reshaping every step. Once targets are identified, a traditional military gathers its top strategists in a command center debating the best course of action. What weapons should be used? Which forces should be deployed? What are the potential risks? Each decision takes time, valuable time. But in the AI-driven force, the software has already analyzed the situation. It knows the available weapons, their range, their strike probability, and even external factors like weather conditions. It runs thousands of simulations in seconds, presenting the commander with an optimized list of attack options. The enemy has a critical supply depot here, the AI suggests. An artillery strike has an 85% probability of success. Drone-delivered precision explosives raise that to 96% suggests action, drone strike. Estimated collateral damage, minimal. The commander taps a screen, confirming the action. Drones take off, moving toward the target in coordinated swarms. But war is never so simple. The enemy detects the incoming drones and deploys signal jammers, disrupting their control signals. The traditional force now faces a crisis. Without communications, their drones become useless. But the AI-driven force has planned for this. The drones don't rely on human operators anymore. Machine learning algorithms allow them to navigate autonomously, adapting to the electronic warfare countermeasures. They switch to alternative guidance methods using onboard image recognition to stay locked on target. As enemy forces scramble, the drones continue their deadly advance. Boom. The explosion reverberates across the battlefield. 
the AI instantly assesses satellite imagery and sensor data to confirm the depot's destruction. The supply chain of the enemy is now crippled, and before they can even react, the AI army is already looking for its next move. Back in the traditional command center, officers are still reviewing their list of potential targets. Every decision is made cautiously, manually, and with limited information. The fog of war is thick, and they are struggling to cut through it. This is the second major advantage of AI, precision. It eliminates guesswork, reduces delays, and maximizes efficiency. It doesn't experience fatigue, hesitation, or emotional bias. It simply processes, optimizes, and executes. The battle rages on, but the AI-enabled force is consistently faster, smarter, and more adaptive. It analyzes intercepted enemy communications, scours economic data for hints of supply movements, and even monitors social media posts for indirect intelligence. In modern warfare, data is ammunition, and AI has an endless supply. Then comes the final blow. With the enemy weakened, the AI-driven force plans its decisive attack, a coordinated airstrike, a cyber warfare assault on enemy communication lines, and a precision missile barrage, all calculated to deliver maximum impact with minimum effort. The traditional force struggles to counter. They are always one step behind, reacting instead of acting. And then, silence. The battle is over. The AI-enabled army has not just won, it dominated. Not because it had better weapons, not because it had more soldiers, but because it made better decisions faster. The battlefield is evolving, and at the center of this transformation is artificial intelligence. Nations are racing to harness the power of AI, shifting the dynamics of modern warfare with algorithms, data-driven targeting, and autonomous drones that make split-second decisions. The idea of software playing a critical role in war might have once been the stuff of science fiction, but today, it's reality. Take Israel, for example, where an advanced AI system churns out vast target lists, identifying potential threats with alarming efficiency. According to Israeli soldiers, these lists are sometimes treated as if they were produced by human intelligence. The IDF insists that humans are always in control, but the increasing reliance on AI to generate strike lists blurs the line between machine recommendation and human judgment. Meanwhile, Ukraine has become a proving ground for cutting-edge military. AI, both sides of the conflict, are deploying advanced drone systems equipped with computer vision and self-guiding technology. These drones, once remotely piloted, can now complete missions even when communication is jammed. The shift toward autonomy is undeniable. Across the Atlantic, the United States is ramping up AI-powered warfare initiatives, from AI-driven satellite analysis that pinpoints enemy positions with uncanny accuracy to cloud-based military operations, software is reshaping combat strategies. Tech giants like Amazon and Microsoft are stepping into the defense sector, offering cloud computing power to process the massive amounts of data collected by military sensors. And then there's Palantir, a data analytics company whose software can execute military operations that once required 2,000 people with just 20. The power of AI isn't just in automation, it's in the ability to synthesize and prioritize vast amounts of information, reducing human workload and response times. At the heart of this revolution is the ultimate goal, an integrated command system. The U.S. Army's Project Convergence is one such attempt to create a unified battlefield. AI, a single platform where all sensors feed into a streamlined decision-making hub. The idea is simple. Whoever processes data the fastest wins. But this raises an uncomfortable question. How much decision-making should be left to the machines? Critics argue that the real ethical dilemma isn't just AI pulling the trigger. It's how we decide what counts as a target in the first place. The fear isn't just about killer robots. It's about a world where commanders, bombarded with AI-generated target lists, rubber stamp lethal decisions without deep scrutiny. Yet, some experts believe the debate is more nuanced. AI doesn't have to replace human decision-making. It can refine it. 
A well-trained commander who understands an AI system's strengths and weaknesses can use it as a tool rather than an authority. The challenge is ensuring that the person making life and death choices knows when to trust the machine and when to question it. Of course, no system is foolproof. AI will make mistakes, some catastrophic. It might misidentify a hostile target, leading to devastating civilian casualties. But let's not forget, humans make those same mistakes too. The real question is whether AI can reduce the frequency of such errors. One thing is certain, there's no stopping this train. The march toward AI-driven warfare is relentless. Geopolitical tensions, arm races, and the sheer advantage of superior data processing mean no country will willingly slow down its AI research. The ethics and legality of autonomous war machines will always lag behind their development. The only hope is that those in charge wield this power responsibly, with wisdom and foresight. The future of war isn't AI versus humans, it's AI and humans, side by side, rewriting the art of combat. So, what do you think? Will AI make wars faster, smarter, and more precise, or are we marching into a sci-fi nightmare where machines call the shots? Is the future of combat a battle of weapons or a battle of algorithms? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive into AI-driven warfare, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more cutting-edge tech discussions, and hit that notification bell, because in this fast-moving world, staying informed is the real power move. See you in the next one.